U.S. President Barack Obama came back from vacation and hit the road pushing his domestic agenda. The president spent the last week addressing the affordability of higher education, opposing tying student aid to school performance. But looming over the horizon is another showdown with Congress over spending and avoiding another government shutdown. Rebecca Sinderbrand is a deputy White House editor for Politico.com. She joins us now to talk a little bit about what uh, Barack Obama faces now uh, that he's back in the swing of things, more or less. Uh, Rebecca, we, we comes back from vacation with all of this international pressure on him, but people shouldn't forget that there are great pressing domestic issues that are on his plate as well. That's right. I mean, this has really been the story of uh, the second term so far. The president uh, making bids to push his domestic agenda, particularly to focus attention this summer on the economy through his economy tour. Um, and it, the news cycle still pushing everything back towards the international front. We hear a lot over the weekend about the GOP secret plan to hold um, Obamacare hostage with either the sequester or the national debt. Um, does this either help or hurt him in terms of um, how he's perceived by the public? Well, you know, I think the Republican agenda, to the extent that, you know, the uh, the uh, budget and the debt ceiling come into play, the recognition on both sides, and it'll be interesting to see the way it plays into the political calculus, is that it's a net winner for the president to the extent that polls have consistently shown that the public has a greater level of trust in the president's leadership on those particular issues than either Democrats in Congress or Republicans in Congress, with a significant advantage over Republicans in Congress. Republican leadership in Congress is well aware of that as well. So even as they're setting up these fights, um, to a large extent, the framing of these fights uh, from Republican leadership is trying to uh, placate some of their members who would like to see them say, take a tougher tone uh, more than an actual appetite for going head-to-head -head with a president who has a polling advantage. Uh, this is obviously his second term, but he has a very limited time in which he should really be able to accomplish uh, or establish his legacy. What is the most important thing that you think he will set out to accomplish in what's left of the workable piece of his term? You know, we've seen him put a number of those items into play. The president is well aware of the ticking clock. And you've seen him over the past few months, the, the first couple of months of his second term, to, uh, go, increasingly going out on his own, striking out in ways that he can advance his agenda without necessarily going through Congress. We're going to see more of that, particularly as the clock ticks on and we head into the lame duck era of the second term. It happens to every president, happening to this president now, as you speak, a lot of people very aware of it. We're seeing the president taking executive actions on issues he cares about, like climate change, like college costs and other areas, where he has to get the ball in motion now in order to have real substantial changes in place by the end of the second term. Well, this past week, the president has made a big push on highlighting education as he's toured the country. Will his efforts to make a difference in this particular field have any effect on Capitol Hill? Will he be able to get anything that he wants? Well, you know, it's interesting to see the reaction to the president's college cost proposal. It somewhat predictably mostly broke along partisan lines. A lot of Republicans expressing some skepticism with um, some of the metrics he'd like to use to measure college affordability and whether that represented too much government interference. The president looking to tie uh, aid to colleges and student aid to whether or not a college presents a good value to its students. Um, you can obviously have a conversation about what represents presents a good value. The president looking to put hard metrics on that and, and tie college aid to that. So um, some pushback from Republicans on Capitol Hill, not clear where it, uh, the agenda would go once it reaches there. Rebecca Sinderbrand of Politico.com, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And this is Arise America.